Hey guys, this is Frugal. Now here's a common question, a strange question in fact, that I often get for X-Plane. How do you install add-on aircraft? Well, I have here Javier Roland or Jay Roland as some of you may know him, his excellent Mentor 1 version 1, sorry, version 1.11. It is not installed in X-Plane. I'm going to go and install it right now. It's actually very simple. Some in, some modern aircraft these days come with a .exe executable installer you can run. Most of them, however, do not. They come as a zip file and you unzip it and you get a bunch of files like this. So in here, there's some directories which are for X-Plane 9 and then you can overwrite those directories with what's in here for X-Plane 10. Obviously, I'm running X-Plane 10, so my task is fairly straightforward, I think. Copy the X-Plane 9 files over, and then replace some of them with the X-Plane 10. Now, I have X-Plane stored on my F drive. Let's go all the way down here. There is X-Plane 10. Within that directory, you will see a, di a directory in there called Aircraft. Open that up. And it has all the categories of aircraft that you're familiar with seeing in X-Plane itself when you choose a plane. These are, This is a military aircraft. It's a military trainer. So let's see what we've got here. Uh, fighters, general aviation, heavy metal helicopters. Mm, no military. So let's go for general aviation for today. And what we're going to do, just go into the X-Plane 9.7 directory that came with the mentor. And we just drag and drop that in there. Simple. Now, I have to copy some extra files because I'm running X-Plane 10. Some aircraft come just for X-Plane 10. Some are like this and they have changes that you need to take into account for X-Plane 10. So all we're going to do is just drag and drop this directory in here. And it says, do you want to merge this folder? Yes, I do. Do you want to merge this folder? Let's say do this for all current items. Yes, I do. Okay, now there's some similar, similarly named files in here, which is correct. We're replacing these ones with these ones. So we say do this for the next seven conflicts, copy and replace, done. All that remains at this point is to fire up X-Plane itself and see if the aircraft is there. So I'm going to do that right now. Let's fire up X-Plane. There it is. I'm going to run a 64-bit version. It takes a little while to load up. But we should get to the quick start flight screen fairly rapidly which is all we're really going to need. And I can show you the aircraft all installed and ready to go. So initializing the ATC, up it comes with the quick start window. Any second now, there it is. So we put that in general aviation. So we click on general aviation, scroll down the bottom here, and there it is, T-34C Mentor. Now, when you install an aircraft like that, sometimes you will have ACF files which differ. Uh, a good example is actually some of the helicopters I have. Let me... Um, in fact, not the helicopters. Let's load up a Caronado real quick. If we go into the Caronado C90 here, you can see that there is a V10 ACF. That's the one that you want to use in X-Plane 10, not the X-Plane 9 one. I'm not sure how the Mentor is set up. Let's click on each of these. The Lukash version. I don't think there is a difference because we copied those files over. Everything is X-Plane 10. So we'll load up the Lukash version. We're going to set uh, a day with some Cirrus or Scattered Clouds. Real world weather, we're going to be flying out of... Where is that? I don't want to fly out of there. Let's fly out of... Um, oh, actually, that will probably work. Just for the purposes of demonstration, we'll fly out of Sutherland Strip, wherever that is. And once x planes finished starting, we will look at the aircraft. Okay, so here we are now in the sim. The aircraft appears to have loaded. We'll just check it out. Put it into the 3D cockpit view. Let me reset track IR. There we are. So there's our 3D cockpit. Everything's looking pretty good. Looks like it's working. Let's zip on outside. And there's our beautiful new mentor that we just installed. Hope that was helpful to some of you guys who are new to X-Plane. Not very hard to install aircraft at all. Scenery actually works very similarly. And I will no doubt do a video explaining scenery as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.